Now, it, your statistics are fantastic with your success rates mm -hmm. with your clients, of course. So what kind of puts them apart besides just staying four months with them mm -hmm. that separates you from maybe other diets? You won't hear me talking about in my program about fat grams and calories and because I approach is because I'm picking from the most nutrient dense foods. Sure. What's beautiful is nature gave us all the perfect foods in the perfect season. Mm -hmm. Okay. So nature yeah. already provided um, what we need. Mm -hmm. So when I bring people more in touch with that and they start to eat the, the foods that are best to eat in the spring, in the summer, um, they just find that they get so much healthier. Mm -hmm. um, so you brought up um, calories and that type of yeah, approach. Other, other dietary. Yeah. Yes. Well, let's let's say that um, we have a Nabisco snack pack that's 100 calories, mm -hmm. and we have a piece of fruit, and let's just pretend it's 100 calories in the piece of fruit. Okay. What a difference. Mm -hmm. So they're both 100 calories, right. but one, you're getting nutrients, and the other one, your brain is never going to register satisfied okay. because it didn't get the nutrients it needs. Have you ever eating, eaten a box of crackers or cookies and you just keep eating them mm -hmm. and you think, and then you go to the refrigerator and you say, what else could I have? Because the body never got what it needed to feel satisfied. Okay. So what I, rec what I notice with my clients is it's, it becomes easy to make these changes to their diet mm -hmm. because their cravings calm down and they begin to get what they need. Mm -hmm. So I don't want my clients to have to focus on willpower sure. using a diet because have you noticed, diets always have a beginning and an end. Mm -hmm. And I'm teaching a lifestyle mm -hmm. that they can grow into you know, as, as they age. Right, and probably after the six weeks, is that about approximate time that after they started to change some of these eating habits, they probably even feel better? Oh, what's you know? so interesting, so. Tina, is they feel better when they come back to their next meeting with me. Okay. Session two, they're feeling better. Mm -hmm. They may have noticed um, digestively that they're feeling better. Sure. Their mood is better. Mm -hmm. They'll share with me, if I introduce a new breakfast, say, for example, they'll share with me that they feel more satisfied mm -hmm. and that it holds them over for hours. Yes. So it's really exciting how quickly the body can recover. Mm -hmm. So even if you've eaten processed whole foods for years, in just you know two weeks, a month, six weeks, you are feeling so much better. It's very exciting. Yeah. So then they want to continue with this program, like you said. Yes. This new lifestyle change. Yes. It doesn't become, oh, I have to eat this mm -hmm. way. What's exciting is I see a switch and they, they actually will come back and say, you know, we had donuts at work the other day mm -hmm. and I could have eaten one, mm -hmm. but I kind of didn't want to feel that way. Sure. I really like that I'm feeling high energy and clear headed and I knew that donut would make me not feel good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't ever take food away. Right. And I think that's really helpful for people to understand right. because it can be a little, make people a little nervous mm -hmm. when you say, well, you can't eat this and you can't eat that. Right. Instead, I say, add these foods in and try this and let me know how you feel. Sure. And then that feels much more allowing and open and comfortable, mm -hmm. a, a nice way to make a change. Right, because no one wants to feel like, well, you're denied this, you're denied that. Yes. And then it makes you want to crave it a little bit more because she said, I can't have that. Yes. Even though it's good on the palate, mm -hmm. at the time, you pay for it hours on, the, you know, within the next few hours as well. Yes, and it, mm -hmm. you, you bring up a good point. I like to teach people about 90% of the time, eat well. Eat mm -hmm. foods your body really needs to be healthy, sure. and then with the other 10%, have some chocolate cake and have a good time, mm -hmm. yeah. right? We need flexibility in life, mm -hmm. you know? So if you're going to create a way of eating for a lifetime, you got to have some allowance in there. Exactly. And I think that's really important. Yeah, very important. You know, I also teach clients how to improve their metabolism. Okay. Many times um, diets will focus on what to eat, right? Mm -hmm. But they don't focus on how to eat. So I teach in depth how the science behind how metabolism works. Okay. So an example would be we need to eat rhythmically during the day. So you've heard mm -hmm. that it's important to eat breakfast. Yes. Especially if you're trying to lose weight. Mm -hmm. And it's true. So 
I teach in depth the science behind why why that happens that you know our our body temperature is rising in the morning mm -hmm. and it reaches its peak at noon okay so that's when we want to be eating um, the majority of our food mm -hmm. but what does America do they yeah. tend to eat it for dinner mm -hmm. which your body is winding down a little bit and your temperature is not as as hot mm -hmm. so we don't burn food as efficiently so there's so many examples of how you can increase your metabolism and that's exciting and empowering for people to learn yeah and the reason that they call it breakfast is because you are actually <laughs> breaking the fast yes. from sleeping and mm -hmm. not eating that whole time mm -hmm. that eight hours that you should be resting yes Right. So that's why your body is craving food and during your breakfast time. Mm -hmm. so. People will often say to me, should I do cleanses? And cleansing is wonderful. Detoxifying mm -hmm. is important for health. Sure. But what sometimes people will overlook is eating whole natural foods on a daily basis is very cleansing mm -hmm. because food is medicine yes whole natural foods is actually medicine mm -hmm. for the body and we take it three to five times a day mm -hmm. isn't that interesting I love that concept mm -hmm. you know because you are what you eat you and they are say and to feel healthy then let's put in the good foods into yes it. Mm -hmm. so if, if you would ask somebody how they'd like to feel mm -hmm. during the day they'd probably say what I want to feel high energy mm -hmm. clear-headed kind of grounded like I can get some work done sure. but there's certain foods that go along with feeling that way mm -hmm. and I can share with you what it's not okay. processed foods and sugar and caffeine mm -hmm. Those are not going to give you that high natural energy, that sustained natural energy. Right. So, so I think it's helpful for people to really think through, if I want to feel this way, mm -hmm. what foods will help me get there? Right. Yeah. And it, it's a simple concept, but yet we're mm. thrown in with all these commercials that, you know, yes. all of this and the high energy drinks and you know such and everything's mm -hmm. good in moderation mm -hmm. but you have to learn your body and what connects with you as well you do yeah that's a great point yeah. I want to talk about the primary foods and I know that you have a concept called primary foods so mm -hmm. can you explain that for, to my viewers sure this is a really interesting concept and as I explain it I think you and your view, viewers will realize this is this is a really important concept to improving your health okay. so let me first name the four areas of primary food, career, exercise, spirituality, and relationships. Okay. So there's no right answer mm -hmm. in either of the categories, but there is a right answer for what works for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's take an example of when you're involved in a hobby that you enjoy. Do mm -hmm. you have a hobby that you, that you like? Sure, very much. Okay, when you're involved in that hobby, isn't it like you lose time? Mm -hmm. And you're not thinking about food, no. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, you're so involved yes. and so dedicated that you actually even forget all of a sudden your tummy is roaring yes. and you forget to eat. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's an example of primary food in action. So that means you're so happy and fulfilled with life in mm -hmm. that moment okay. that food isn't your number one priority. Sure. So in America, food has become such a business. The middle of the grocery store is made up of food products. It's really not food. It's a business has made those foods. Okay. So um, we've become so attached to eating that type of food that we kind of, um, we forget that life is what's supposed to make us satisfied and fulfilled. Mm -hmm. But people will tend to um, eat emotionally. So if they're feeling lonely or if they're bored at their job, they'll think, what can I eat mm -hmm. so that I'll feel better? Well, that's, what, that's the role of life to make you satisfied and happy and fulfilled. So I help bring that into um, one above the other. So instead of having food be the priority, I help people make their life more balanced in a way that they love so that food becomes secondary. Okay. This is really in, this is a really helpful concept for people. Mm -hmm. Let's take for example that you're not in a relationship but you'd like to be. Mm -hmm. So you might feel lonely often. Sure people will tend to reach for sugar when they're lonely. And it's because they're not getting enough sweetness from life. Oh. So they wanna get sweetness from food. Mm -hmm. So there's just one example, and there's so many examples of how life plays a role in our food choices. Yes, 
and subconsciously, even though we don't realize it, mm -hmm. there's a lot that's going on. There is. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's many emotions that people will try to numb their feelings with food. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're, not, they're not doing it to make a bad decision. They're doing it because the, the emotion may be uncomfortable mm -hmm. for them. People, people like to feel happy, but they yes. don't like to feel sad or maybe a little down or lonely. Mm -hmm. So to bring consciousness to those patterns is so helpful for my clients. Because until you understand what you're doing, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to make a change. And I think the relationship that I develop with my clients, I'm very open and non-judgmental, and I understand that eating well isn't easy. Yes. You know, so I think it gives people the space to grow and change. Yes.